A senior Iranian commander has praised the Air Defense Force's achievements over the past years, saying the country, a pioneer in the technology of directed energy, is today capable of targeting micro-air vehicles MAVs, that violate its airspace. In an interview with ISNA news agency on Wednesday, 1st Brigadier General Mehdi Sakafaford, the deputy head of the planning department of Katamal Anbia Air Defense Base, said the Air Defense Force has become self-reliant and rendered ineffective the sanctions imposed on the country by the West. Prior to the 1979 Islamic Revolution, he said, Iran was only able to detect flying objects from a distance of 380 kilometers using Western supplied equipment. Today, however, the country has been finalizing projects that enable the Air Force to intercept targets within a distance of up to 3,000 kilometers, said the commander, adding that the Air Force units operate radars that have a detection radius of 800 kilometers. Sakafaford also said that the number of radar platforms has increased by about 400 times in the country, compared to the time before the revolution. Radars have had their technology upgraded from old interception systems to hybrid mode, he said, noting that radars are currently equipped with optical and sound detection sensors and other types of sensors that cannot be mentioned. At a low anti-cruise altitude, we have at least five to six projects that are between the testing and operational phases, including Majid, Nawab, Zubin and Esfal systems, he said. After 10 years of endeavor in the field of directed energy, we have been able to reach a point that the countries possessing this technology claim to be standing at. Directed energy means that we can get rid of the MAVs intruding into our skies. That means hitting a $900,000 cruise missile at a cost of only $10, he explained. The commander also pointed to the progress that the Air Defense Force has made regarding electronic warfare. In the field of electronic warfare, we have reached a point that the world does not believe, he said. Following the non-delivery of Russia's S-300 missile defense system, Iran managed to manufacture Baber 373, with the guidance of leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, and efforts of the defense ministry knowledge-based companies, Sakafaford said. Today, the Baber 373 strategic system has nothing less than the S-300, and in some areas it is even more advanced. In the near future, we will hear good news from this system to break the record and reach the levels of the next system, the S-400. Meanwhile, according to Iranian sources, Baber can detect up to 300 targets at a time at a range of 300 kilometers, simultaneously tracking 60 of them and engaging six, whether aircraft or ballistic missiles. The system uses two small truck-mounted phased array radars, a command and control truck, and up to six vertically positioned four tube launchers for each battery. A larger area surveillance radar with a claimed range of 450 kilometers may be incorporated as well and would probably be necessary for effective operation. This configuration is similar to Russian systems, in contrast, a Patriot battery does all of its detecting, tracking, and engaging using a single radar. Baver can also reportedly use the latest version of Iran's Sayyid missile, Sayyid 4, 
which would give it an engagement range of up to 200 kilometers. Iran unveiled another air defense system two months ago. The similar but shorter range 15th of Corded. Tehran claims this system can detect, track, and engage six conventional targets up to 100 kilometers away and stealthy targets up to 45 kilometers away. There is no verifiable open source information on the actual performance of these two systems, but the June 20 attack on a U.S. Navy RQ-4 Global Hawk reconnaissance drone over the Strait of Hormuz involved a similar system. A video released by Iran showed an Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps unit firing what looked like a single Sayyid II from a third of corded anti-aircraft system at night, followed shortly afterward by falling wreckage. The battery's young crew were credited with the confirmed kill, which drew no kinetic military response from the United States, they later received prizes from Iran's supreme leader. Widely ignored, however, was the role played by the national military's newly detached Islamic Republic of Iran Air Defense Force IRIADF, in detecting and tracking the target and passing the order to fire contributions that likely magnified what the battery could do if it were ever deployed on its own nor outside Iran's domestic air defense network. Added to this performance uncertainty is the fact that weapons designers and operators typically overstate how well their systems can perform and often present mere modifications of previous systems as new products. Iran has been particularly prone to both practices.